spring, believe it or not, is less than two weeks away. So gardeners are really busy right now getting ready to plant and preparing to fight off some stubborn insects. Megan Gregory is the coordinator for Scythe Community Gardening Program. She's here to tell us about a workshop that'll help people fight insects in gardens. Absolutely. So we offer the Sustainable Growing Series, and in two weeks from today, on March 21st, I will be teaching a workshop on insect management from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. at Cooperative Extension. Okay. And in this workshop, what can people expect? Well, I know there are some good insects and there are some bad ones. Absolutely. So we actually start by teaching folks how to create habitat for beneficial insects. Okay. So insects that eat pests. Uh, so one example of a pest might be a cabbage worm, which are just terrible pests. Um, in this picture, you can see uh, what the, the kind of damage that they can do yeah. to um, collards and cabbages and crops in that family. That's pretty much ruined, would you say? Can't um, eat that. Absolutely. But the good news is that there are some insects like this mason wasp, which actually eat some of these pest insects. Oh, and okay. gardeners can attract um, insects like this to their garden with native perennial plants like the mountain mint in this picture. So we'll be talking about that a lot at the workshop. And these habitats that you're talking about, does creating them get rid of bad insects and welcome the good ones in right away, or does it take some time? Well, it certainly takes time to build up your good insect population. So we're going to cover a number of other strategies for um, preventing pest problems, things like choosing less susceptible crops, or using something like row cover, which is this special fabric that um, oh, wow. you can uh, build a low tunnel and um, stretch this over your plants, and that'll protect protect them from the insects at least early in the season when it's still cool enough to, to keep that on your plants. So those are some of the things we're going to be talking about. All right, and for people interested in going ahead and get a garden ready and looking for information like this, how can they register for this workshop? Well, I suggest going to our website at www.forsythecommunitygardening.com or calling 336-703-2850. All right, thanks so much as always for being here and giving us that great information. Wonderful, thanks for having me and hope to see some of your viewers uh, at our workshop. Absolutely.